Look what just came in the mail, Hey, I just got the Squire Bullet shipped from Guitar Center. It was shipped from California, so it came a couple days late because they had a problem with the box, like missing box or something. And the lady said that she put, she emailed me and she said that she put the guitar in a case and she added strings. Um, I'm not sure, I, I'm assuming that they couldn't sell me a used one if, I think it's new, I think it was just missing a box, like maybe it was a return or something. Anyway. Um, so yeah, let's do an unboxing. I've actually never un done an unboxing, so you, you guys are taking my unboxing virginity. Hopefully I'll get tons of sponsors in the future and then they'll just start sending me things like free guitars, free pedals, free Tesla Model X's, free Tesla Model Y's, and what else do I need? Uh, Alienware computer. Yeah, <laughs> okay, let's, let's open it. So... I've got a cutter in the drawer next to my bed. No, I'm kidding. That's just where I keep my tools. Like, I don't have that much storage, so. this whole time. This is actually a big prank. It's quite small and light. It feels, it's like, yeah, my Rickenbacker is right, way heavier than this. What is this? Roadrunner. Cool. All right, let's see if she gave me, she said she put something in the... We got some Fender, Fender strings. What is this? Dot six, yeah, that's good. Dot 10, dot 46. Um, Damn. 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 For a shitty guitar, it's actually pretty good looking. Wow. <laughs> it's a little bit. Mm. It's a little bit dirtier than I like. Like this sticker is kind of, okay. All right, let's do a quick montage and then I'll, I'll get into playing it and stuff. So. At a glance, I can see a couple like weird things. For example, here. Okay, wait. Let's, I don't know if you can see here. So here, there's like a little bit of a black spot. This neck doesn't look like it's fitted perfectly for some reason. I'm not sure if that's just. Uh, it looks. Yeah, here, here as well. You can see it's kind of looks like it's kind of been put together. Here, there's some more. Some more little blemishes. This thing, I think that's just a plastic, but 
this thing is not really sticking. Um, wow. No, that's fine. That's just. And these, I had heard a lot about. I had heard a lot about these knobs being not good. Uh, yeah, I can see this is like a little bit loose. I mean, I'm sure I can tighten that up, right? Okay. Let's see the back. Wow, this thing, I swear this thing is so light. Like, literally it's nothing compared to my Rick over there. I feel like I can just throw it out the window. <laughs> no, just kidding. It's actually, it actually looks quite nice. Yeah. All right, let's plug it in. Let's see what it sounds like. I don't want to clean it. I'm like being a neurotic guy. Yeah, that's the plastic. I think the scratches on the plastic. It must have been like a display guitar or something like that. Oh, check that out. Next, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard album tuning. Alexa, turn the light on. Okay. After playing around with it for a couple, I guess, I feel like it's been a couple minutes, but it's been about an hour. The strings are terrible. I really need to change the strings. Otherwise, I mean, the sound is all right. It's fine for what I needed it for. Um, I mean, you can't expect like the most glorious guitar for, you know, $130. I mean, it's sturdy. It feels strong, right? It feels like it's not gonna hurt break the the tuning I need I might need to tighten them a little bit it does seem like the strings are getting out of tune quite quickly um, so I'm I think that might just be the strings or it might be the tuning pegs which I've heard are not amazing uh, but that's like two it's fine I can live with that uh, what else I noticed this thing here I don't know if you can see it here, let me just put the camera like this. If you can see, some of these ones here have like rust on them. If you can see, for example, this one, if my camera will focus, so you can kind of see it here. It looks like this one kind of has some rust on it. I'm not quite sure what that is. 
seems like it's rust yeah it just looks dirty maybe paint i'm not quite sure what that is other than that the frets feel okay i'm gonna pull them out anyway so that's not a big deal the nut is like fine is it straight looks decently straight to me um i am It didn't come with the whammy bar. I don't know if I, I think that that's just because the lady said it was like an unboxed one, and so it might. It has the whammy slot, and I can hear that it's. Next episode, I'm gonna take you guys to Home Depot, and we're gonna check out everything. We're gonna try to get everything that we need to build this microtone guitar. So I'm gonna go buy a bunch of supplies rather than getting them on Amazon, just because that would be more fun, I think, and that way I can also see the size of things and stuff like that. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.